Hello, and welcome to this first match in the Prosperity Mix Tournament. So the Prosperity Mix Tournament um, is a double elimination tournament where we play games with a set of cards that was that were chosen by uh, Donald X and myself, actually. To be interesting. So... Uh, um, it's based on the themes of prosperity, which are treasures, VP tokens, um, generally expensive cards, and um, yeah, so there's a lot of fun stuff here. Um, oh, we didn't turn off spec chat. Uh, okay, so spec chat will be on. I messed that up. Um, I think Amafet has another game to play. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this first board. This first board, let me see here. So we've got Nobles. We've got uh, Forum. Peddler. There's Trashing with the Catapult. There's also Junking with the Idols. Um, attacking with Catapult seems pretty important here. I'm not sure if, if I... I I mean, I don't really want to get too many other things, um, but for now, um, yeah, we, I mean, we'd like to get to windfall, I guess. We'd like to get to crop rotation pretty early if we could. That would be a nice little boost. Um, a second catapult. Yeah, so the only draw is nobles. It's also the only action. Oh, yeah, there's also crop rotation draw. Um, given that, there's not a lot of benefit to getting two catapults, so I'll, I'll go ahead and get a silver as well. Hmm. Well, if I'm attacked here, I don't mind. That's nice. So, not sure what my opponent is thinking about. Okay, yeah, they don't have their catapult. Um, second catapult here or silver? I think I like second catapult. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to get attacked, aren't I? I'm going to discard coppers. Please, yeah, okay. And discard coppers and get get a silver. Five would have been a forum. My opponent also gets second catapult. Okay, well, they didn't hit five, so that's nice. Second silver for me. <clears throat> I think given everything. I want to be trashing the coppers. Yeah, I don't want my opponent to hit six. Crop rotation would be excellent here. And unfortunately, we're going to keep doing this. Replacing these coppers to silvers for a little while. Um... I could think about Humble Castle. Okay, well, here I'll think about whether... Well, unless I'm attacked, of course. I If I get five... Do you think it should be four? Hmm. Okay, Treasure Trove sounds... Sounds... Hopeful. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't hit six. Uh, I'm going to hit two silvers there, so they're probably not hitting six, too. Um, hmm. Well, 
I'll be nice. Um, okay, well, I can hit six if I am not attacked. Yeah, the treasure trove is not. Okay, I am attacked and pretty badly. Um, <clears throat> I think I just do the copper to silver attack thing again. Um, I'm not worried so much about that curse. Okay. Now I hope you attack me because I don't mind. But I, I obviously would love to hit six. So that's gonna be another form. Okay. Um definitely discarding catapult and discarding a state, trashing a copper. And getting crop rotation. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so I'm going to build up to two nobles. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, the plus buy here is the fortune. So that's something we'll also want to consider. Um, takes the third catapult. Interesting. So now the rocks are exposed, and that's that changes things a bit. Seven, that's just going to be nobles. Okay, provincing. Um, I'm not worried about the provincing. I just want more nobles and to trash and attack. Okay, this will be interesting. Um, hmm. Well, how about I trash? And since I'm playing the longer game, I'll take the Humble Castle. Also throws a curse in there, deck. It's a little bit dis disappointing to discard the nobles, but I'll, I'll still be doing it. playing nobles as lab rather than playing it as either of the other options. Two of them together is a lab, so... Yeah. Um, if I'm attacked, do I have another catapult down there? I don't. I might discard the silvers. So the scepter deal is... Like, Scepter could be replay a catapult. Okay, he's still just flooding his deck with these coppers and golds. He's got three golds now. Takes the form. Okay, I'm going to discard Forum. Um, I'm not going to play the catapult, the second catapult. Forum. Um, 
unfortunately that is causing a somewhat bad top deck. But I will do it because I can... Um, huh, okay, Humble Castle's on top, I can discard that. Um, we'll just trash a curse and take another Nobles. Okay, so my goal here is to get to the point where I'm drawing deck and um, throw some silvers my opponent's way and windfall. Okay, they take crop rotation. That's good for me. Forum. Okay, um, we're doing that. Actions, cards, forum. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, Humble Castle's on top. Well, maybe I want to trash that estate. Um, sorry. Okay. Don't need to explain. So I'm going to uh, discard that card and that card. Actions, Catapult, Silver. Catapult, Trash Estate. I have six. It could be a Forum Peddler. Um, I think I want it to be just another Nobles. Um, yeah, let's just make it another Nobles. Okay. Nobles for actions, Nobles for cards. Forum. Um. Forum. I don't want to trash the Humble Castle. Well, okay, no, I'm, I'm going to draw it all up. So I want to do nobles for actions, nobles for cards, and then catapult trash. I only need, I can trash the silver. That is still five. Windfall. Nice, Humble Castle is the card I want to be discarding. Okay. Um, the gold for sure. I have another form in there. Most fractions, nobles for cards. Nobles for actions, catapult. I should just get rid of both of these, right? I don't want either of them. Or I could just trash the other catapult and take a crumbling castle. Well, why don't I just trash them both? I would like to trash my other castle, uh, catapult, but eh, not this turn. Like Treasure Trove is so much worse than Windfall on this on this board because you can just uh you, you gain a gold and a copper or you can gain three golds. Alright. 
<clears throat> so I think I trashed my only curse and so my opponent has four curses. That's great for me. If we can afford well, we'll get more nobles, ideally. Nobles for actions, nobles for cards. Nobles for actions, nobles for cards. I didn't think that through. Yeah, I messed that up. Um, well, can I get four nobles? That's 11. So if I catapult the estate, Um, Forum, Nobles. All right, that's a good hand. They're going to take the Lost Nobles, I think. Oh, they're going to take Province, okay. That feels, yeah, I didn't get to attack, so. Um, nobles for actions, nobles for cards. It's a lot of fora. Um, I have five. So I need to like cycle until, um, Actions, cards, actions. Um, if I just trash two golds and then windfall again, I get to throw two curses in my opponent's deck. That sounds pretty good. But the other option is just buying nobles here. And next turn I can attack again and, and buy the windfall. Um, well, yeah, that sixth nobles lets me draw a little bit more and bishop stuff. Um, mainly it just leaves them at two nobles. Yeah, I, I am not that enthusiastic about it. Probably deciding whether to trash a curse. I trash my only one, so that's okay. I'm taking the last noble scan. Yeah. Okay, so I have this overdraw. Um, actions, cards. Forum, actions, cards, um, actions, okay, so I'm going to be almost done junking my opponent, um, We might choose to stop here, so that would be, uh, I can get six, I can get the bishop plus the forum, or I can get, oh, I can't, you can't do forum and windfall. Hmm. The bishop is going to take a little while. Um...
Actually, it might be good to get the treasure trove. Hmm. How do I build here? The curse pile's getting low. Um, what's the order of operations? Let's let's stop there. And this turn, we get. Uh, Forum Bishop, Bishop a Catapult, um, although I really want to lower Forum, Fora. Hmm. The Gladiator for the plus buy eventually. I'll just take the Bishop. <clears throat> Yeah, so at this point, the treasure trove would mean I don't have to spend my buy on windfall. And it would give me a gold to bishop and a copper to catapult once, once I can get rid of those curses. Golds are at 20. Yeah, I'm the only one really going for this. Scepter is interesting. So, um... Oh, uh, let's... Do a cards, the actions cards one time. And then I think we need to like cycle through our fora. Um, am I not going to draw? I am going to draw. Okay. Actions cards. Actions, catapult to curse, uh, gold to curse. Um, bishop, my second catapult. Okay, so um, now I do want the treasure trove because I want to be. Not having to spend my buy on windfall. Okay, I'm not really afraid of my opponent piling anytime soon. Oh man, no, no crop rotation. That's well, I did, I did discard two things. Or I did get rid of two things and gain one. So I think I still will be able to draw deck. I don't know if it matters. Okay, gets rid of that last curse. Or one of one of those curses. So, but I, I don't have the last curse. That's good. I'll get the last curse in the process. Yeah. So, what is the what is the route now? So, I want to bishop the gold, and catapult the other gold. Okay. Actions, cards. Eh, that order didn't really matter. Um, now I do draw everything, which is nice. Actions, cards, actions, um, catapult the gold. Bishop, the gold. Um, Treasure trove to regain those things to trash. And now that I have a point lead, well, okay, I can gain one extra card if I ha if I start my turn with green. Uh, crumbling would give me two extra cards. Rocks is um. I guess I can just take peddler or something. What is the what is the way here? Sure, I'll just take Peddler. 
That's kind of a null move, but hey, it does something. I guess the, the something might be getting in the way of my green shrine crop rotation. So there's that. Okay, my opponent provinces, I will be doing almost as good as provincing every single turn. Nobles for actions, nobles for cards. Now we do our fora. Forum. Um, oh yeah, and I do have the one extra card. So actions, cards, actions. Catapult the copper. Pretty soon I'll start taking four off. Bishop the gold. So I've got a nice little golden deck here. Um Eighteen golds left. Would anything actually really help me? Um, I guess I can do form peddler. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm likely going to be able to have a lead. <coughs> So it's like with crop rotation, if you're down to a three card hand, mm. two four is annoying, I guess, but I'm going to discard a nobles. So. Pedlu. Those for actions, those for cards. Okay, I've got stuff to discard. That's nice. Peddler. More stuff to discard. Um, oh, yeah, this is too bad. So I will not be able to play my ah uh, mm, I messed that up played the nobles too soon but I, it's because I had to discard the four okay um so I guess I just don't catapult here um because I want the points for sure And I did help him. That's too bad. Um, yeah, let's just take... I mean, the scepter... No, it's not. I can redraw my treasure trove, I guess. With, like, a peddler. Um, I could also just take Crumbly Castle. Let's try it. Hmm. Okay, so if I don't want to I can take haunted. Um, yeah, that's something to consider. If I don't want to catapult, um, yeah, we'll do one pair of nobles. Peddler forum forum and. Um, Um, okay, so I don't play my treasure trove. That's too bad. So 
so I guess I just bishop the copper. And take haunted. Wait, haunted castle gains me the gold. Oh, that's sweet. Let's do trash the gold then. Hmm. Okay, maybe, yeah, it's good I didn't play the treasure trove. I have too many cards in deck now. With an 8 point lead, my opponent can't do all that much. Oh, they pair up a couple nobles, wow. So I don't think I'd be on castle. Again, I'm not struggling to get money. Um, although if I had 15, I would just win. 15 money. Okay. Sweet crumbling castle gets discarded. Peddler. And that is sad. Um... Well, I guess I, I won't be playing my treasure trove. <sighs> yeah, let's not play treasure trove and just get opulent. <clears throat> Oh, I <laughs> guess that's where the conversation is. Anyway. Um, dead draw nobles. There might be a simpler way to win this. Okay, we're even on points, but uh, this looks like it'll be a good turn for me. Um, let's... Forum. Um, Peddler. Forum. Um, forum. I'm just going to cycle now. Green. Discard green. Nobles for actions, nobles for cards, nobles for actions, bishop, oh, I messed that up, and I want to play, I want to play catapult first, catapult the silver, bishop the gold, I'm playing this the long way, but I think that might be a good overall strategy this game. Um, playing the... <clears throat> okay, my opponent's not going to be able to score three points and um and and all that and uh get ten so especially with the two card hand three card hand now so they kept curse estate and one other card so that's one card they decided to keep and two random cards
Hmm. I don't think there's a way I can lose this, but we'll see. Huh. Okay, well, these four aren't doing too much. Um, I mean, I can always Bishop Peddlers, too. I have a few of them. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm not wishing out a peddler this turn. I threw a ton of green in there, but I also have my... Um, <clears throat> um, I guess the treasure trove is, is fine. Okay, there's the bishop and treasure trove. Nobles for actions. Catapult copper. Bishop the gold. I'm like going to starve my opponent to death, aren't I? Okay. They just trashed a curse. They have a two-card hand. The chance that they can... <clears throat> yeah, the peddlers aren't, aren't doing much. I will admit that. Okay, so I just need to afford five. Um, that should be pretty simple. Peddler, peddler. Forum. Yeah, let's just opulent. This card. Form Dutchy, sure. Okay. All right. That took a while, but uh, I won. So now we will get a new board. Sorry to make everyone wait for so long on that one. Um, in terms of player order, yes, of course. Player order. I get to go first for the next one. And yes, okay. Time to go get a new board from Prosperity Mix Kingdoms. Um, we have to clear selection, paste them in there, and I, that that landscape empty won't do anything. Um, okay. I think that, uh, make sure the play order is right. I think we're ready to go. So, this board. All right, we've got Pixie, which is, uh, means we have Goat for trashing. Um, but there's no draw. There are six kingdom treasures in addition to the Goat, and in addition to those Bandit Cap, which provides spoils. Um, you can train something. Uh, there's not even filtering, so it's literally a, um, I mean, training pixies makes cheap peddlers. That could very well be what's best. Um, you can get ducats early to trash those coppers, plus buy. Um, what else could you do? You could mine stuff. That's not very interesting. You get a bunch of groundskeepers and train them. That's the other option, but they're expensive. Um... Yeah, so this is uh, an interesting one. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but it could very well be a double ducket open. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't even really want Bandit Camp. Um, I don't really want to do mine, even though like that is all you're doing here. Um, I guess mine is trashing in a sense, but... But I really, I really just want ducket... A couple ducats early to get pixies. And I guess training um, on the pixies. Uh, but I think... Do I just want one pixie first? 
Well, I'm I'm adventurous. Let's do let's do the double ducket thing. That sounds exciting. So with the goat trashing and the ducats trashing, my deck will have nine cards. And the hope is that I can hit four with plus buy twice and pick up four pixies next shuffle. Well, it's not quite shuffle, but obviously I'll hope the goat is in the first half because I'd like to trash these remaining estates. And my opponent follows. Oh man, no ducats. Do I need another one? <laughs> also, goat misses with both my ducats. So it's goat, two ducats, and an estate down there. That's annoying. All the treasures I care about are in the bottom four. All three. So we'll see. I'll just get a pixie here. I don't want a silver. Maybe it should be another ducket, but we're getting it we're getting to saturation there. Okay, my opponent opens ducket silver. Let's just get a pixie. This will be two pixies. Charm. Interesting. Use those coffers. Oh, someone entered Discord un unmuted. Should be taken care of now. Okay, my opponent now sees that as well. And man, I draw a copper, really? Well, fourth pixie for me. Of, of all these cards to draw, I drew the copper. It's literally the one out of four that I didn't want, because the pixies would just draw the next card. So, pixies are four, two. I have two ducats. Um, crown, my opponent's getting more fun stuff. Oh, there's also crown capital to worry about here, but without the draw here. Yeah, I know. Well, am I going to get another pixie as a result of that? No. Man, now, really? No, I want to keep the number of pixies in the stack as high as possible. But I guess that might mean my opponent gets more pixies. If I take two here. I will take two here if they don't. Six two is what pixies are. Yeah. Okay, so my drawing is not so great. Um, yeah, I think I just, I think I just want to pick up a ducat. Trash and copper. Save my coffers. Next turn I will train my pixies. Yeah, so I should have trashed to pick up more. 
and then my opponent wouldn't get them. So there's six four. It's like trash a pixie for a pixie, but it just lowers the pile. Hmm. Wisp is draw. That's what it is, yeah. Hmm. Okay, if this was me, I would go for training on Pixie. My opponent's down to three Pixies, though, so that wouldn't do all that much. Hmm. Venture. Actually, this could be a venture board. That would be pretty funny. Of course, I don't have things to trash. And of course, I don't need that. So... Hmm... If I trash, I'm drawing deck. Well, minus pixies that are bottom decked. And if I don't... I mean, I could just save my... If I don't, I can train the pixies. So what's more valuable? Um... More valuable is trashing and saving the coppers. That's a nice thing. Ah, you get swamp skipped again. You get a trash right. So I have to wait at least two more turns until he sees Womp's Gift again. Hmm. Oh, fascinating. You can get like three Groundskeepers here. That's pretty amazing. Of course, Groundskeepers inhibit the, the Wisp draw, but that would be really good. Oh, two groundskeepers plus a venture. Okay. I would get a crown, actually. Keep. Keep. Ah, this is this worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Keep. Keep. Duck it. Trash the duck it. Um, train the pixies. And now I can start to get more interesting things. Though I don't have that much money in deck anymore. I have the five pixies, my goat in the ducket. Venture, venture, crown. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so I, I might, I might lose this. Very well. I'm my opponent, I take crown double groundskeeper. I think. Or, or, I mean, actually, I consider the capital. And the venture is okay. If you can get that kind of a chain going again, that's pretty amazing. 
and play keep on all of these. Oh, should I get the lisps? I mean, I don't need draw now. I trashed. Um, now we get our charm. Okay, that's good. My opponent is done. They still have lots of bad treasures. But four groundskeepers. Maybe soon five, and then they can train them. That's pretty amazing. I need to get a charm and a groundskeeper. Yeah. Keep. Keep. Keep, 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 um, gain card, not trashing again, Good wisp. Wisp died. They have like four wisps though. Okay, yes, yes, that's what I want the venture to be doing. It's goat, okay. So now they get their sixth ground groundskeeper? Or do they have crown charm? They have crown charm. Ah sixth and seventh. Gonna do puncher again. So they have seven groundskeepers, that's pretty good. Um Um So we're gonna take charm in the last two groundskeepers, I think. Well, that does put us right at, I mean, I guess I can go trash the ducket. Do I want to do that? Hmm. So if I go trash the ducket, then I would be at maximum. How many buys? Four buys? I don't like their ventures, but... I think I need to do it. And they get swamp skipped every single time. I skipped it once. But hey, they're done there. That's nice. Venture chaining. Well, you don't get to play your groundskeepers, so that's good. Yeah, the venture engine. It's the uh, interesting possibility here. So I'm not sure how long we need this thing to last. So, yeah, I mean, that that turn 
was pretty unlucky for my opponent. Without draw, because we don't have any wisps, although wisps are arguably not, arguably not that much draw for my opponent. Um, Fourteen. Training on groundskeeper is the is the way to go for my opponent. Um, groundskeeper, groundskeeper, pixie, keep pixie, keep groundskeeper, pixie. Mm, that one would be really nice next turn. Let's do it. Um, so do I want two coins this turn and none next turn? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it comes down to. I get. I get like crown capital. How many buys do I need? I need. Um, well, okay. Each of the. Charms after the first is essentially a buy. So one, two, extra. I have three buys. If I get Charm Capital, I have five buys. And I kind of want to drain the duchies, but uh, three groundskeepers, man, that's not that much. Um, yeah, not this turn. OK. Um, so we're gaining cards. So I'm gaining three extra cards. So I think I want that to be... Uh, make it a crown and three capitals. Well, I want, I want at least one crown and one capital. Um, right. One capital doesn't put me in the, the greatest position. But okay, I have, I have like three extra slots. Crown. Two duchies. Crown, duchy. So that would be three buys. Um, I don't think I can do it next turn. So let's take another crown. Okay, so my my opponent uh, only gets to play three of their groundskeepers. That's good when they have seven of them. So there's literally no point in crowning a groundskeeper. So I'm going to start my turn with crowning groundskeeper. Sorry, no, with playing groundskeeper. We'll see what they do. I don't know what their last three cards are in hand. They have to decide on the charm first. That's all the ventures. But it's getting caught on that copper. If they take two duchies, I'm quite happy. If they take province of state. I bet they just did a charm.
Okay, they took two duchies essentially. That's great. Um, groundskeeper, groundskeeper. We'll do a pixie. Keep. Um, to draw through. Wait, so to get five duchies, what do I need to do? I need to be able to. Um, question is, do I want to crown this pixie? Okay, let me think about this. So I have. Did I take? I took two crowns last turn, right? So I, oh, I have two crowns in hand. Okay, so I have an extra. I have a crown. I have three charms. That's four. I have a capital. That's five plus by, but one of the charms doesn't really count. But so I think, I think I want to crown the pixie. Keep. At this point, I might as well trash, right? I've got two. Okay. Pixie. Yes, trash. Groundskeeper, pixie. Keep. Okay. So now if I crown the capital. Well, I'm just going to do it. So crown the capital. Charm, gain, charm, gain, charm, gain. Goat, don't trash. So it would be crown, duchy, 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 duchy. Pay off five debt. Okay. All right. So I win that one despite losing the groundskeeper split. I think my opponent made a mistake leaving exactly the pile they left because that let me pile up. Um. So my opponent gets to go first in this next one, and let's generate a new kingdom. All right, clear selection, paste them in, and we're ready. Okay, so here we go. Um, if I get this one, I clinch. I advance. So, training again. Um, stables and Storyteller, both dealing with treasures. Um, the only estate trashing is the forge. Um, spice Merchant and Stables don't go together well. But uh, with Lucky Coin and um, um, fun stuff to do with Villa. Oh, there's also Fool's Gold. So I have the 2-5. Yeah, normally I, I, I like to ridicule Fool's Gold open. Well, not open, but like... There's been a few games this tournament where uh, Fool's Gold does not look good. But I think this one it does. Um... Yeah. So the question is, well, there's two questions. One is, do I play this? Do I buy the storyteller here, or do I play? Do I not play the lucky coin and buy the spice merchant? Fool for my opponent is intriguing. I'm gonna go for the storyteller. This will be another storyteller. I can worry about trashing the coppers later. Training on Storyteller will be great. Canal will be nice in general. Okay. Storyteller. And wow. Storyteller bottom decks, but I can get a second Fool's Cold, which will go well with the Storyteller. And then I want to get the Spice Merchant. My opponent has a Plaza. My opponent's playing a pretty normal normal deck, although Plaza I don't think is going to be too strong. Okay, two Storytellers on top with three treasures. That's a strong start. Um, if I can afford seven, I think I'll get the Forge.
Lost in the Woods is decent. Um, when I have a hand that's not two or five, I will consider it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so the Fool's Gold will draw up, and I want to do that. Lucky coin, copper, and that hits eight for forge. Okay, I think I want more Storyteller at this point rather than more Fool's Gold. Because, I, I mean, I can do Copper and Estate to Fool's Gold, or I can do th all three except Lucky Coin to Storyteller. I think I will do the Storyteller. Um, so there's actually three matches in this tournament going on simultaneously. As we speak, I could choose not to trash the copper to be able to take another fool's gold. Um, what is worth it? Uh, yeah, that does seem worth it. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. But I, I am loving my forge. I can even buy a villa mid-turn if I have enough Storyteller draw. Yeah, Storyteller is just so great here. It's awesome. And with training on Storyteller soon, that would be... Like, that's turning Storyteller into a lab by default. Um, yeah, the plazas I'm not really sold on. I don't know what discarding coppers for coffers is going to do for you. It's like pageant, sort of. Discarding Lucky Coin. Hmm. If you're going Storyteller, you want Silvers. Another Plaza. So they're going to train the Plazas. That, okay, that's the only thing I can imagine being good here, but or being what they're going for here. Um, I'm just going to draw up... How many cards are in there? There's Lucky Coin, Silver, Copper... Fool's Gold Forge. Uh, there's five cards in there, so we will draw all but two. Okay. Um, so this is where I could buy the villa. Um, I think this turn I don't want to. Actually, yeah, I think I can do it without too much disruption. Villa. So there's a silver down there. Um, yeah, one copper. Okay, now I want... Definitely forging an estate or two. I'm going to do these three into a storyteller. And then train my storytellers. Ah, man. That's the problem with storyteller. Oh well. I will get storyteller fool's gold. I'll be okay. I just need to not play all those coppers.
My opponent doesn't yet have a forge. So an ill-gotten gains might do them some damage. But I'll, I'll wait until I have my last estate trashed. I think. I'll be gaining silvers most turns. If I draw, I will have... Really? They just buy a silver? That seems like a mistake. So do I just get canal? I mean, I could just get canal. No, but the... The fool's gold increases my payload by like three, at least. Yeah, that's worth it. Hmm. Well, I need to play this copper, unfortunately. What? So they, they bought a silver. They used the coffers to buy a silver. And I do not understand. what Because what, they're drawing their estates dead? Or I don't get it. Because they also... Well, they're also trashing silvers. Will they have enough for the training on Plaza? No, now they're going to compete on Storytellers. Okay, actually, I'm just going to play this one. Not play my copper. Um, because I want to get rid of those coppers. Eh, I could play one copper. Well, okay, if I top deck a storyteller, I top deck a storyteller. That's all fine. Okay. So now... I'm going to just trash estate and five coppers into fool's gold. Or should I trash the silver? Well... Definitely trashing all those. If I trash a silver, I'm going to have four, four... I mean, this will make it a lot easier to find my storytellers, so I don't really need that many more. Canal, let's get another villa. Let's get, so that's just more villa. Um, I could just do another villa. And then storyteller. Okay, so there's my plus buy. Okay, so I can now I can do the fool thing if I want. Is it is it worth the time? Oh yeah, everything costs less now with the canal. So the forge can forge two silvers to a nil gotten gains. Or okay, yeah, that that makes the calculation a little bit different. So yeah. But I I'm rolling this is this is going well. I have five fools golds. I have six storytellers or something. Buying silvers, really? Why are you, why are you stuck on that? Um, do not understand. Okay, it's best to just draw up if I can. Um, oh, I guess I should play that villa, shouldn't I? Got another storyteller in hand. Okay, now it's time to take advantage of the villas. So, forging. So, okay, I've got 
four buys. Um, let's forge silver to fool for fun. Um, let's buy more fool's gold. Villa. Um, we'll play the fool. Plus buy is nice. Earth's gift is nice. Um, we'll take another storyteller, I guess. Don't want to trash. Um, I think this will just be like three provinces. Yeah, that, that forge has been really good for me. Clearing out all those coppers and estates. My opponent still has their estates. And they got another wisp. Wind's gift isn't bad, you've got actions. But you still haven't trained your plazas, which you have four of. I assumed that's what you were going for at some point. Anyway, train storyteller is just great, so I'm I'm not fretting it. I think I'll I will discard the the villa here. For I could discard the lucky coin. Now you're trashing your lucky coin. I don't really get what my opponent's doing. They discard all those coppers and then they put put them onto their deck. I guess if you have enough draw, it's fine. Finally, they train the pauses as I expected. Oh right, I'm not lost in the woods. What am I saying? Okay, so I start with the villa. And draw as much as I can. The uh, provinces start to get in the way. I can think about a win here. I'm not going to be too particular about it. The costs are weird. That's also something to take into account. Like it takes Villa plus three silvers to. I mean, let's just see how much how many buys I have. Um. And let's fool. Buy coin, gain a silver. Okay, so I have lots of buys. This is like 23. And I, oh, I guess I'd used up all that stuff. Um. So if I buy, okay, if I want to buy, um, let's do three fool's golds villa. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so there's three fool's golds down there, so a storyteller will draw them all up. Villa, forge province to province, and actions. How much money is this? Is this enough? Oh, it's only three buys. I didn't count. Oops. Oh, well. And I had way too much money. Yeah, I messed that up. Oh, well. 
Seven pro six provinces is plenty. Yeah. <sighs> That was, uh, those were some fun boards. Epic, uh, triple province kind of thing going on. That was, that was turn 11. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's see what the specs had to ch had to say. Um, at least on those last two boards. All right. Well, I'll play my next match, uh, sometime soon. We'll see, uh, the, opponent will be determined very shortly if it hasn't been already and um yeah that that's gonna be fun <laughs> thanks for watching